Hello, Sydney. Allow me three minutes of your time if you don't mind. All right, I'm not here to offend anyone. I'm here to give you hope. My name is Philip Blair. I'm from the United States. I want to talk to you about where you're going in life. <sighs> Right at that moment is when my brain would start immediately playing that old wedding singer song in 4K. Oh, somebody kill me, please! Somebody kill me, please! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to a brand new episode of... Hey, do you mind just shutting the f*** up, please? My name is Leon Lush and it's a real treat to have you here. So this past week someone emailed me this video you just saw a clip from in the intro there. It's from a gentleman named Philip Blair who is a YouTuber. Uh, if you asked him, he might call himself more of a prophet, minister, proselytizer before YouTuber, but he's he's cranking the social media game here if you look at his channel. He's got some 2 million, 1.6 million, 1.3 million bangers. Uh, this video that we're going to watch today as one of the main focus points has a half million views. It is a little bit older, but I mean, he's, he's killing it. He understands the game, you know what I mean? Everyone's out here battling, trying to get views on the internet. Just do what my buddy Philip Blair does. Hire a cameraman that knows how to use a gimbal, get a potato sack, throw that shit on and go to Times Square and scream at everyone and tell them they're all going to hell. New York City, your sins have filled up the cup of God's wrath. And he is very angry with you. Listen, I get a lot of questions from people that are like, hey, Leon, I want to be a YouTuber, but I'm struggling to find an audience. I feel like the algorithm never picks up my content. And I look at him and I say this. I say, listen, do you have $2? Okay. Can you buy a potato sack? Do you have a friend that can throw their iPhone 6 on a gimbal? Do you know how to scream at people about eternal damnation in a public place? Boom. Two million fucking views. Jesus Christ is coming soon. And listen, Philip Blair's no slouch. He knows that when you find a formula that works, you stick with it. So he's out here all over the world screaming at people in a potato sack. Repent, New Orleans, for your drunkenness and your addiction. Repent. Yeah, f New Orleans and their drunkenness and their addiction and their shitty levies. <laughs> As many of you know, I am quite fond of this kind of content for its entertainment value, specifically Kenny Copeland, my boy. COVID-19! But at least Kenny C is at his mega church and people come to see him, right? He's not busting down people's doors and screaming and spitting in their fucking face about it. That's just annoying as hell. Which brings me to this next video where he traps people on a subway train because he can't really get off a moving train, although some of them probably considered it. And he starts flapping his gums and people were just not having it. So we're gonna take a peek here and see how it went. Hello, Sydney. Allow me three minutes of your time if you don't mind. I mean, just look at the look on this man's face right now. I'm here to give you hope. <laughs> the whole situation personified right there states I want to talk to you about where you're going in life right we're all rushing through life we're all on a train we're all going somewhere I want to ask you what is the purpose of your life Philip I'm honest if I was there the purpose of my life in that moment would be to immediately discover how I could get in a different train car from the one that you are in right now I know what it's like to strive on the corporate ladder okay but I have left everything and I've been to over 28 countries in the last two years to share the gospel of Jesus Christ humble brag much <laughs> Yeah, I know what it's like to be a hamster on a wheel, folks, but I've become a bit of a traveler as of late. And I'm not trying to talk to you about religion. I'm here to talk to you so that you might have hope for tomorrow. Okay, first of all, that's a lie. You're absolutely going to be talking to us about religion. And number two, lying is a card is like a sin, right? So you're already being a hypocrite, Philip. Shut up. We care more about saving the whales than we care about saving our unborn children. We care about uh, yeah, how thanks, deep our... Right. Thank you. Nope. I'm not gonna stop because I love you that much. Oh, dude, so cringe. I... <laughs> okay, mate, thank you. <laughs> Like I love, like you start out being nice. You're like, okay, that's great, thank you. A.K. Philip, shut the fuck up. I'll say thank you. You understand the tone. It means to be quiet. We're all trying to read and enjoy our morning commute without having to listen to you flap your gums. Unfortunately, Philip's so selfish that he, he doesn't take the signal. We have to return to living in a moral way. Our children we do not have are to going up. Anyway, thank our you. children are you growing up. You have no more right than anyone okay? else on this bus. Just shut up. Oh, no, yeah, he's getting up. pissed. Just shut up. No. Yeah, shut up. No. Please shut up. No. Just shut up. No. Three minutes of your time. All right? Three minutes of your time. Oh, mate, if you ask for our time, we have the right to say no. We're not giving it to you. <laughs> Completely stumped his ass, bro. If you ask for our time and we tell you no, what the fuck are you going to do then, Philip? You know by that face in his head, he was initially like, shit, he's right. We're not giving it to you. 
So I told you to do it. Why are you so triggered, my friend? Why don't you just, just shut up? up? Because I love you that much. Stay quiet. I know. Someone and one day you're going to stand before oh. the throne of God, and you're going to account for everything that you have done. Repent, Sydney, for your sin. <laughs> Repent. I feel like you can be tactful with your approach when it comes to like hopping on a subway and screaming about whatever you believe in. But the second you start screaming repent, then you're just kind of lumped in with all the other crazies you see like on the internet, right? I also want to point out that my criticisms are not about his particular belief system. I know there's a ton of people that watch me that I'm sure have faith and might believe some of the things that he believes. I'm simply criticizing his methodology. Trapping people on a subway car and going in on them is just like you're doing more harm than good to your cause, in my opinion. Repent while it's Look at everyone's getting off. I would say 80% of those people right now weren't planning on getting off at that stop, but they're just gonna pop down to another train car, no doubt. Maybe 90%, you know, they're all bailing hard. Dude sitting down that's giving him shit, but he's not getting up for this dude. He's reading his book, he's just gonna keep telling him to shut the fuck up. I'm here because I care about you. You have one more stop and I'm leaving. Oh, thank all right? God. <laughs> My dude's like, thank God, because I got six more stops, and if I had to listen to you the whole time, I'd probably get out and lay down on the tracks right now to put your afterlife theories to the test. Why don't you just... Take your opinion and keep it to yourself. It's not an opinion, it's the truth. It's your truth. Amen. It's not, it's your truth. This guy's money right here in the white hair. I like him. Okay. So do you think truth is allowing our children to make their own decisions at five, six, seven years old? Do you think Where did that come from? Did I mention children? These are the societal issues that we're facing. Why are you so angry? It's not an opinion. I care about you, my friend. I care about you. Apparently not about our opinions, because we'd like you to shut up. <laughs> Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Every time this in these situations, these people they reach like a, a stalling point. They just go back to like a very popular verse, you know. what I'm saying to keep the flow going. Kenny Copeland does the same shit. Like a little point in his sermon, where he'll like forget what he's talking about it, and then I'll just like quote scripture or something. Because the pleasures of this life and the taste of sin is too great. Mm. All he wants you to do is love him. He doesn't want you to do anything else except love him. Look and at this dude. All I want you to is shut up and leave me alone. <laughs> And I've done maybe, that. Maybe give a sign right. give a She's like, can't you just go on the street and like wave your signs like everybody else? And he's like, yeah, I've done that. But nobody listens. That's why I have to do it in the subway cars where you're trapped and you're forced to listen. Repent! Repent, you piece of shit! I've been in the slums of India. I've been in, uh... Nobody cares, okay? We all have our story. Sure. Is it yeah, sure. I'm not trying to inflict mine on you, so just shut up, please. <laughs> and you wonder why the world is the way that it is. Is it because this guy simply wants to enjoy his book while he's on his trip home from work without having to hear you flapping your fucking jaws in his ear the whole time about some nonsense? Is that why the world is the way that it is, Philip? You don't care about anything. It's a selfish world that you live in. And you need to repent. Because people Who's are Who's the selfish one suffering. here, mate? Who's the one who won't shut up with their opinions? You're, How selfish you're giving that? that oh, shit! Yeah! You're the right selfish right one because right you won't shut up. Woo! White hair, orange glasses just put this man in a chokehold and hit him with the fatality combo. Can you not see that? You're no. forcing your opinion on everyone in this train. Yep. Right. We are asking you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> and do you? No. How selfish is that? Your Stumped him again! <laughs> Just his little kind of nod, he's like, you know what, good point. Well, I'll, I'll let you give sure. my, my testimony. I used to be a Buddhist for 27 years of my life, and uh, oh, no. I became a Christian. You can just hear that girl in the background going, oh, God, oh, no, not another, oh, boy, oh. Nothing like all the cult things I used to do. The whole spirit is the, is the truth. Yeah, but you'll go to a psychic or a tarot card reader and believe that, but you won't believe in the creator of heaven. Who says I believe in a psychic? I'm not I'm saying you, I'm saying this is what society is. <laughs> this is the world we live in. You sound like such a now, unfortunately, the camera ran out of battery there for Philip, but legend has it, after he screamed repent 15 more times, everyone fell to their knees in tears, and they all sang at the top of their lungs, You Raise Me Up by Josh Groban, together. You raise me up. Jesus. 
just shut up? Yeah, it's too bad. Uh, too bad they couldn't get that part on camera, but definitely happened. Listen, just speaking from an efficacy standpoint, like in what he's trying to accomplish, this has to have the reverse effect, right? Am I the only one that feels that way? Some of the people that are closest to me in my life have a foundation built on faith. And there's so many better ways to go about communicating and uh, trying to get through to people than forcing them to listen to you scream down their throat. At the very least, just stick to the potato sack bit on the street because the views are better, first of all. And secondly, if people want to listen, they can. And if they don't, they can bounce. That old guy is my new favorite person. <laughs> Congratulations, you're being saved. Now, please do not resist. Now, I haven't spent a ton of time on the Boston T or like the New York tram, but I know it's like pretty common to get caught on a train with some awkward shit happening, whether it's like some drunk stuff late at night, fights. If you're lucky, you get the guy doing the trapeze act on the handrails. And if you're unlucky, you get Philip Blair. I've been on the both side of things. Let's real talk right now. Come have a conversation with me. I'm not a crazy man. I'm here because I'm desperate for your soul. I'm not a crazy man. I'm here because I'm desperate for your soul is possibly the best oxymoron I've heard this year. I'm curious where you guys would put him on the Catholic mass to Kenny Copeland scale of one to 10 entertainment value. I'm also curious why the fuck you haven't subscribed. Oh, you have? Oh, that's, oh, that's great. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. That means the world. And if you don't mind just doing me one little favor before you go, if you could just trap me on an Australian subway train and pin me to the ground with a crucifix and step on my cubes with the heel of your foot, and tell me how naughty I am, and then spit in my mouth, rip off all of our clothes, and then hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. That would mean the world to me. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs> you. You. You.